Hey Bulls fans, welcome to another Bulls unboxing. Today I have the new Terminator Genesis miniature game box here from uh, River Horse. So that's another game studio. Let's go ahead and just take a look at the box real quick. It's still got the plastic wrap on it. Uh, <clears throat> got the metal Kyle Reese model here as well. That's included, so that's pretty cool. Um, it is a tabletop board game type thing. Uh, it comes with a bunch of dice full of two sets of polyhedral dice. Uh, so I'm curious to see what exactly is going on with this game. So obviously it's the Human Resistance versus the Terminators set in the Terminator universe. Uh, there's a really nice pick of Arnold there with much of the glare. So let me go ahead and rip the uh, plastic graph off here, get rid of that glare, and let's take a deep dive in the box. Here we go. Take the box off. Have not been opened. Don't know idea. No idea what I'm going to find inside. So kind of a nice rule book actually. Um, Looks like it's full color and a uh, nice binding actually so put that to the side for now we'll go through the full box warlord and river horse river horse put this game together so fast play rules that'll be good and we have some a uh, quick reference chart that's always that's always nice to have so and tokens we do love our tokens looks like it's a uh, measuring device of some sort front and back tokens that's always good more punch outs. These are uh, cardboard style cutout things. Pretty nice. Uh, we've got a play mat. We've got some stickers. Stickers can be placed on models' bases. Ah, for easy reference. Okay. We've got the play mat, which we've seen these kind of before. We've got a nice front and back. So. Looks like some kind of battlefield set up on this end, and then some type of uh, complex internal structure on this end here. Kind of hard to make out, but kind of nice. So it's a full fold out. That's cool. We've got more stuff inside. This nice red box of pain. Ah, we've got miniatures. Here we go. Okay, let me go ahead and we've got a bunch of miniatures. We've got uh, Kyle Reese, I'm betting there in the metal. And we've got dice, because everybody loves dice. So, set to this aside. Let me dump out these miniatures. We'll take a look at the miniatures and then we'll go over the rest of the stuff. Okay, taking a deep dive on the miniatures here. Um, start off with the, uh, the human resistance guys. Got one right here. Um, just move these out of the way so you guys can see a little bit better. So, pretty nice sculpts. They're Poses are static poses, but you kind of glue on the arms and stuff. Um, single piece plastics, detail on them is not too not too bad, actually. Um, the arms look like you single piece plastics for the torsos, and then the arms just clip those out and glue them in. Looks like we have some type of a uh, rocket launcher slash bazooka here, and arms and arms and arms so it looks like there's 12 human re resistance guys here so these two screws are the exact same that one's the same and then yep so 12 of the same screws for the humans and then we get to our terminators so the bases these are interesting the um the torsos on the terminators as you can see here are uh single piece there but then you actually glue them onto the the leg bits here and the spine kind of goes right up through the model so um, it's pretty cool you know these aren't bad as far as the coloring and the sculpts on them uh, hit them with a quick primer or a wash and uh, really make them pop right out so pretty nice there's a better angle for you guys so we get looks like two terminators and then the creepy <laughs> the creepy crawly terminator guy that's probably one of my favorites yeah Hope you got your uh, metal presses there. So, and it looks like this guy popped off of that one. So, and they're all plastic, pretty pretty tough, durable stuff. So, uh, let's see, we got two, four, six, eight, ten Terminator models in there. I also noticed this is kind of cool. This uh, nice die. It's a D6. There's ones, twos, and fate. We have fate. We have no fate, but that which we make. So. <laughs> So let me go ahead and pause real quick and we'll take a look at the rule book. Oh man, I almost forgot the man himself, Kyle Reese. Let me go ahead and zoom on in. You guys can see exactly what, we, what he looks like here. Try to get him in focus for you. Come on. 
Yep, there you go. He's got a little bit of flash on him. It's not too bad. Um, it's actually a pretty nice detail for uh, for this model. It's uh, nice metal. It's a single piece, no assembly required. So as you can see there, it's pretty cool. Anyway, I'll set him down and uh, get the mats out. So taking a look through the rules real quick. Um, it is a full color rule book. Um, it is a hundred and about thirty pages, hundred and twenty eight pages. Full rules, full color. Minor spoilers, there are pictures from the new movie coming out, Genesis, uh, within the book, but uh, nothing really that the trailers haven't already given away. Um, game design, Alessio Cavatore, we, we might remember him from other game companies, but uh, they very, very good game designer. Uh, it's got some new mechanics of, obviously, polyhedral die set, so using a full set of dice, not just D6s. Uh, there's a fate dice mechanic, um, things like that. Everything's listed out uh, as far as stats and things like that for their movement, guns, all that fun stuff. Um, but it is Terminators versus the Human Resistance. There are force lists that you can build from. There's um, for both the machines and the Human Resistance. Um, there are tons of different things in here as well as far as like scenarios. So you can play a ton of different scenarios. Um, there's like in the back of the book, there's a whole campaign system as well that you can set up. Um, it kind of mirrors some of the movie stuff, and then it's pretty neat. There's also a full painting guide for painting both the the Terminators and the machines, and then also the uh, Human resist Resistance guys. And then um, they even have a really cool making a terrain uh, guide if you, if you haven't flip through a, a terrain guide before. This is actually pretty useful information. Uh, it's pretty nice. Um, you can tell that they put a lot of effort into making it. They even talk about uh, 3D printing stuff off for your game board, so I <laughs> thought that was kind of funny. Um, but yeah, they have all these different barriers and markers and stuff like that that you, uh, that you can use. There's a new look at the new Sarah Connor there, so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a ton of stuff in the book. It's well done as far as like production value and stuff like that. It, it looks good. Um, lots of little movie quotes in there, lots of little, again, pictures from the movie coming out. A um, couple of pictures of uh, the old Arnold Schwarzenegger running around too. So, But yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a neat neat rule book, good game system so far from what I can tell. Haven't got to play it obviously because I just opened the box, but it does have a quick, yeah, quick rule guide as well. So this is actually a short read if you want to just hop in and do some fast playing. But the game, basic game concepts, it's two or more players. You've got the uh, machines versus the humans, and movement range templates can, are included, like this. But you can also use tape measures um, if you want to go that route. So same deal. The, all the stats included, obviously. But uh, yeah, it looks like it's a pretty solid little game. We'll take a look at it here, the Bulls HQ, and uh, figure out if we can do a bat rep, maybe. Uh, but we'll try to get some games in with it and see what we think. So. That's pretty much it for this unboxing for the new Terminator Genesis miniature game box. Hope you enjoyed it. This is Adam here from Bowl signing off. Have a good one.